New car inventories rising and prices falling, but not so much yet. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. After hearing nothing but, we don't have any cars for months on end, now we're seeing headlines like this. U.S. vehicle inventory is at highest point since June 2021. Two new reports indicate that recent high prices could soon begin to deflate. Supplies appear to be catching up with demand, according to the data from Cox Automotive, which shows new car and truck inventories have reached their highest levels since June 2021, near the beginning of the ongoing semiconductor chip shortage. There were 1.32 million vehicles in inventory in September, representing a 42-day supply, according to Automotive News. That figure was approximately 500,000 vehicles higher than September's 2021 supply and up 90,000 from August. However, it was still 2 million vehicles lower than it was in September 2019 when the auto industry was functioning normally back then. <laughs> Pre-pandemic inventories typically ran in the 65 to 70 day range. Cox Automotive owned Kelly Blue Book also found that the average transaction price for a new vehicle dropped in September. The $48,240 average represented a small 0.3% decline worth $146, bucks, but it was the first time in five months. What a whopping discount. Yeah. Used car price drop is reportedly hurting sellers, like as in car dealers. Yeah. But is it good for buyers yet? Well, that's debatable. Incentives remain low and shoppers are still paying above sticker price with non-luxury vehicles going for $44,215 or $829 above MSRP. Rebecca Rydzewski, research manager of Economic and Industry Insights for Cox Automotive said, interest rates and average monthly payments were up in September, which means affordability worsened, yeah. With prices still well above MSRP and incentives from automakers still low, sales in September continued to struggle as consumers weighed their vehicle buying options. Inventory and day supply levels continued to recover in September with their record lows earlier in the year. Now, what's the real reason for increasing inventory? Slowing sales, apparently. Right. Slowing sales helped inventory levels recover further to 1.32 million vehicles in September, a significant jump over where they were a year earlier, but still historically low, according to Cox Automotive and Automotive News Research and Data Center. Cox said the figure, the highest since June 2021, represented a 42-day supply based on its practice of using the selling rate from the last 30 days. It was nearly a half million vehicles higher than where inventory stood at the same point last year and about 90,000 higher than where it stood a month earlier. But inventory remained more than 2 million vehicles down from the same month in 2019 before the pandemic. Mass market and luxury brand inventories collectively rose from the previous month, Cox said. Within individual segment stocks of compact and mid-sized cars remained tight along with minivans and electrified vehicles while selections were best among full-size pickups and high-end luxury cars. Among automakers still reporting their monthly sales and inventory figures, five saw their day supply increase, with four motor companies climbing the most. Volvo's figures stayed flat, and Toyota North America declined slightly. Sadly, there is more bad news coming on gas prices. Yeah. If you didn't already hear, OPEC Plus members agreed to cut production from August 2022 levels by 2 million barrels per day to, to less than 42 million barrels. The cut which will take effect from November, conveniently after the midterm elections. It's like they know. <clears throat> yeah. Represents around 2% of the global oil supply and is larger than expected. There's no doubt that right now is a perfect time to invest in some X caps. There's three ways that you can get some. One, as a preferred customer, where you get 10 X caps for 30 bucks, or 30 X caps for $60, or the third option as a ISR, get wholesale pricing, 100 X caps in a box like this for $199 ships right to your place. And for a limited time, if you're driving a semi truck, especially you owner operators out there, jump on the MPG Crumbs introductory offer of 10 vials treating 1,200 gallons of fuel for $119.95. It's very common for semi trucks to go from 5.5 miles per gallon to 6.2 or even higher. I just heard from a trucker the other day who said when he was driving regularly, he tanked up twice a week spending a thousand dollars each tank wow. up 
That's huge. That is huge. little shout out to Frank right there. Yeah. If you have questions about the X-CAP and how it can boost your fuel economy, or maybe you're wondering if your vehicle is a good candidate for the X-CAP, email us at kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com or call or text to 701-441-3399. We have a big customer database, so we know what works best, and we promise to give you a straight-up, honest answer. Well, I want to pick this spot right here to tell my favorite trucker's joke. Oh, sure. So a trucker pulls into a truck stop and walks in and sits down at the bar and orders himself a cheeseburger and fries meal. He sits down and starts enjoying his meal, and in walks a couple of burly biker dudes. And they size him up and decides, you know, he's not that much of a badass. So they sit down on either side of him. And one reaches over and grabs a hold of his cheeseburger and starts biting it, puts it back down on the trucker's plate. The trucker doesn't say anything. He looks over at his buddy and winks, and his buddy reaches over and grabs a handful of fries and stuffs them in his mouth and starts munching it down. Well, this goes on for some time. Finally, the trucker doesn't say anything. He just pulls a $20 bill out of his wallet, lays it on the counter on the other side of his plate, and puts his plate out into the middle of the table, and then he gets up and leaves. And the waitress came back, and she's looking at the two bikers, and he goes, hey, what, what happened to this gentleman who's sitting right here? And the bikers kind of chuckled and they said, well, he must be a coward. We were just having a little fun with him, and he got up and left. And she, like, walks around the till and goes out and looks in the parking lot and she comes back and she said well he might be a coward but he's also a very bad truck driver because he just drove over two motorbikes <laughs> on his way out of the parking lot <laughs> so there you go yeah got a lot of friends who are truckers and i uh, really got a lot of respect for all of you guys men and women who, uh, who drive trucks yep, uh, working so hard across the country keep this economy ticking well helping the average vehicle owner like you is what we've been doing here on this channel for 13 straight years all right if you're new here at the homework guy don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell we welcome you to our family and of course please share our videos on social media thanks everyone for coming back and to all of you faithful followers out there you guys rock i'm kevin hunter the homework guy signing off with amazing elizabeth the homework gal we, we gotta, gotta go, go.